Welcome to another video from Cardboard East. My name is Jay. I play Asian board games and share what I find with all of you. Today we're going to do a playthrough of Walk and Roll from the Expert menu. This is a double sided menu, like on the other side, you'll see the simple game. This is the Expert game. This game comes from Origami, or a game, a Singaporean publisher, and it was designed by Daryl Chow. Now I'll be playing the solo game. In the multiplayer game, uh, only the active player can use the red dice and then all the other players can use the white dice. But in the solo play, I have access to all six dice all the time. And this will be 10 rounds. So let's go ahead and begin. I've named my restaurant. My house specialty here, which is randomized for the, the expert game, is Sambal Chao Fan. Sambal is three treasures, Chao Fan is fried rice. So it's three types of meat. I will now start the first round. I rolled three rice, so I think I'm gonna go for that. And I have one of these, so all I need is another meat. And I'm good to go. Look at that. And I have an extra shrimp here. I'm gonna cross this off because I have three rice, two meat. That gives me three points. And I have an extra shrimp. I will lose this shrimp unless I use it. But I have some broccoli in the fridge. So now my broccoli and my shrimp will give me this. And then now we're on to round two. No, that's not looking good. I got a lot of shrimp though. Way too much shrimp, shrimp for days. Okay, last one. And rice, this did not help me out at all. I have two recipe books, so I can cross this out. Then I have three shrimp, this is three shrimp. So I go here, I get a free shrimp. I'm gonna mark this here in my pantry. And then now with that shrimp and this rice, I could have shrimp rice or not. No, because I need two rice. Well, I have this. So that's rice, rice, shrimp, rice, rice, shrimp. That goes here. That gives me another rice. Moving on to round three. And then let's see if we can get broccoli and shrimp here. Okay. So three shrimp, three shrimp. We go here. I have broccoli shrimp here. I click that. That gives me a book. I also have noodles. I don't have double noodles though. I lost my noodles. And that was round three, moving on to round four. Oh, look at that. Somebody loves Jay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and lose two points here by knocking out this, but that makes me unlock this. I have shrimp and broccoli, shrimp and broccoli. That goes here. Now all my books can be rice. I have double broccoli. I have shrimp, rice, and rice. Shrimp, shrimp, rice. But it's locked. Okay, well, we're gonna lose even more points. I go here, now I have double shrimp. Round five. Roll the dice. Last roll. We have rice, rice, meat. This gives us right here. And now we have random broccoli. Okay, so we have Rice, rice, broccoli. This gives us a book here. Now we have two books. I could just use both these two books here to unlock that. And now I have access to the threes and fours. Beautiful. Now we're on to round six. Moving on up. And look at that. Somebody loves Jay out there. Okay, looking at the wife again. No, she's still shaking her head. It's okay. I love you, Jay. It's important to love yourself. And that was the, yeah, meat, meat, rice. And now we're at the rice, rice, broccoli. And this gives me a broccoli. And now we're on to round seven. Give me rice, people. I need my carbs. Roll, last roll, more carbs, barbecue sauce. All right, so rice, rice, shrimp, rice, rice, shrimp. That's our first three. Rice, rice, broccoli, that's another three. All right, now we are on round eight. We just need rice. Let's just get lots of rice. More disaster. So we have, ooh, and that will give us rice. So rice, rice, meat. Okay, so we do this. Double shrimp, double shrimp, and that gives us a book. And then we will use that because that's also rice. So we also have rice, rice, meat. And that gives us this three here. Round nine. I didn't need noodles today. No noodles. All rice, all rice. And, okay. So, we'll use this 
broccoli, so rice, rice, broccoli. We have meat here, so rice, rice, meat. Now we do have meat and shrimp, shrimp. We have a double shrimp. Ooh, do we do that? That's gonna be, yeah, let's not do that. So we just lose, that's, that's not ideal, but it's okay. Last round, we've only made our sambal chow fat once. So now we have, let's cross off these two shrimp with this shrimp. And that gives us three points. We have rice rice shrimp. And that will give us this four here. And I don't think there's anything that we can do with that. All right, and then all that's left is to add up all of our total points here. We're gonna go ahead and score. So recipe section, that is a negative five. Not the best there. And that's 30. And that is a one, three, six, seven. Seven points here and three points here. 49. We are supposed to write here, but I'm gonna write it right here. So let's uh, go back on top and I can show you my thoughts on the game. And that was Walk and Roll on the Expert Mode. Walk and Roll comes from Singapore, from the publisher Ora Game, Origami. Now, if you're unfamiliar with this publisher, they only have like a handful of games and their games are not something I would say are exactly heavy. They're leaning more towards the lighter side of gaming, more family friendly, more approachable, and they're very, very invested in leveraging uh, Singaporean culture and infusing it into their gameplay. So yes, they have a game about coffee, but it's a game about Singaporean coffee houses. Yes, they have a game about fruit, but it's a game about durian dash. Durian is the number one fruit in Singapore, whether you like it or not. They have a fun, quick speed party game, but it's about hawker centers. And if you've never been to a Singaporean hawker center, then you are, I don't know, what are you doing with your life? Really, I love this box art, but this box art is very uh, subdued. It's not very flashy, it's not very sexy. So I could completely understand if it's not flying off the shelves. But this design, I think, really fits the game. This is how the game is. It's not being flashy. Now, I think the boards in this game are absolutely beautiful. They're nice, bright, shiny, and you have the simple mode, which is kind of a little bit easier for people to get into, and you have the expert mode, which is just a little bit more complicated and a lot more going on. Now, both of these are very, very clean, and this reminds me of, I guess, like an Eon old tool design, where everything is functional, everything is very clear and concise, the arts is not ambiguous or confusing at all, but it has this overall clean look. So it's very easy to see what's going on, very easy to read your opponent's boards. Definite A plus here for me. But why stop at the boards? The publisher also went into creating these really nice dice, and these dice are, I mean, standard nice quality, but the food components here are very clear, very clear. They could have done different designs, but I think I really like this, and I like that all the food are all different colors to give it clarity in gameplay. Really well done. They didn't need to include a walk as a dice tray here. Um, now in my playthrough video, I didn't use it because it can get a little loud, but this is really nice. Now I like to use my own dice tray because the sides of this box are a little high. You could just as easily take this out and place it on the board. Um, it is a little loud though, and it can be a little bit <laughs> distracting, but that's great that they added this as an additional option. And it's very thematic because it's not just a dice tray, it's a walk. I've kind of gushed over the components a little bit. Now let's go into the gameplay. I am really, really happy here. Now, a long time ago, I did a pretty long video about the top 10 rural light games to come from Asia. Walk and Roll uh, ranked as the number three on that list. And I think that it's still number three. I think it, it's better than most of the rolling rights I've played out there uh, in Asia or out here in Asia. That being said, this is the heaviest of the rolling rights that I've played, at least here from Asia. Now, despite this game being the heaviest rolling right in Asia, there are all things I really think that make it shine. And that is because it is very approachable. You have a simple mode. Kids can play this. I play this with kids and they get it, they enjoy it. Not too hard. Now for the old generation, it's that roll three times Yahtzee roll and write. I think we could stop saying Yahtzee because I don't think the younger generation play Yahtzee. Do, do you guys play Yahtzee? If you did, yell at me, comment below, and, and tell me how awesome Yahtzee is. I played Yahtzee a handful of times because my aunt liked Yahtzee, but my aunt's old. Now he could have just stopped there with like this nice little roll three times, get the best roll, knock off a few boxes, but he added these red dice. 
And this simple twist, <laughs> this simple twist really makes the game shine. Now, it's a pretty standard for a solo play, and I think it's totally fine. In 20, 20 minutes or so, I knocked out a game, and I had a nice relaxing time. But in a multiplayer game, the fact that I have these red dice and the other players don't makes it really, really compelling. Now, noticeably in the game, like most of the things you need, you need a pear and then something simple, like a pear of rice and a protein. A pear of... <laughs> How do you say mien in English? Noodles! Oh my goodness. That happens when you live overseas for more than a decade. You like a pair of noodles and a protein. A pair of broccoli and a protein. Most things are in pairs. So if you can get all of this single here and then form a pair with the red dice, that means you can able to knock something off and your opponents are kind of stuck. And it makes this great, slightly mean atmosphere in the gameplay. And it's very interactive and a lot of fun. I think it's great. Now, even though we played the expert mode, the simple mode actually has a lot of fun combo-y things because as you slide down here, you can get unlock these free ingredients. These free ingredients come out here. Recipe books can also be used as something else and you can combo and bounce off and bounce around. And it feels a lot of fun. You get those great, what I call Yokohama moments where you take a little bit of this, a little bit of this, this sugars this, this sugars that, and then you get a lot of points. Fantastic. Really simple and anyone can play that and approach it. And then that's <laughs> brought out to be a little bit more here on the expert mode. What's also really great is that you have these little house specialties which are unique to you. And there are quite a few in the game and they're always different. So you can always play with a different house specialty every time you play. And one last thing I need to mention is that I love how origami infuses the culture of Singapore into the game. So for example, they have this in Chinese, the names of all these dishes. And these are the real names of all these dishes. And I think that's so cool. They didn't have to do that, but doing that extra little bit, that extra mile really shows the care and attention to detail that they put into the game. And that's why this is number three of the best roll and rights of Asia. So if you're asking me, what are some of the best games from Singapore? I'm gonna tell you, it's walk and roll. If you like what you see here, please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you don't miss our next video. And if you wanna see this channel grow even more, please consider becoming one of our producers on our year long Patreon campaign. All right guys, once again, my name's Jay. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Say it again on my paper and submit it to do the heart. Do I have to do the heart?